So my grandpa brought me something today. It's a uh, Craftsman mower plastic bagger. It's older, but four horsepower Tecumseh. I used to have one just like this actually. Well, not just like it. No. This motor, depending on if I was a cast iron flywheel or not, might work on that weed eater that I pulled this six and a half horsepower to come off of it. From what I'm told, it starts that up without a problem. It's just the, uh, it's broke here. There's not even anything left of the deck there. And that's what happens when you use them. Uh, where's, there's a carb. Flip it up this way. It looks like the deck's actually in pretty good condition. It's just... Well, the handle is, yeah, I used to have a mower pretty close to that, and I still have the deck for it, so it's the work the deck I have is a 20-inch deck, too, and it's a good deck. I might put all this on that deck. Um, did a whole lot of work to the Ford today. I'll have an update on that. Um, what was I getting? Vice grips. Uh to hold the doohickey down so I can pull start it uh, with one hand. So I was told, uh, there's a difference uh, between what you were told and what actually happens, but I was told that this thing starts right up, so I got these vice grips holding down the bail bar. Uh-oh, thing fell off. Well, I'll just set you up on the 70 because I have a pretty low battery life right now. start seems to run fairly well. No kickback, which means the flywheel key is good. Well, my battery's almost toast, so I'll say goodbye right now, just in case. Thanks for watching, but anyway, yeah, seems to run pretty decent. I've got a deck for this thing. I think I'm going to pull this motor off and put it on the deck. Or I might put it on that uh, two-wheeled weed eater that you see right here. It's currently my engine stand for a blown Honda motor. But anyway, yeah, I think I'll put this on one of the two. Yeah, see how much oil it has. Probably battery won't last that long. Oh, it's a little full. That ain't good. Well, pretty darn good mower. This used to be four foot high grass, like, uh, like right there to the stump. Cut it down in one pass, no problem. There are some blades that are still sticking up that we missed, but look at all. That one uh, was up against the stump, but all the rest of these sticks that are unearthed here, I didn't pick them out, I just went through and I it uh, slowed down a couple times. I was only able to stall it once and that's when I uh, didn't wire up the chute because um, I don't have a backer for it and I threw away the mulch plug when I thought I was never going to get a motor for this deck, which was a stupid idea. That mulch plug would have been real handy. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just used the already there hole and just wired the chute up, or the uh, safety chute. And it kind of works as a deflector, lets all the grass comes out, or lets all the grass come out, and it doesn't get all over me. I mean, it's less messy than a weed whacker that way, and it doesn't get all clogged up from mulching. Uh, pretty darn good mower, I must say. I uh, kind of like these, um, I call them Tecrapsas because I really don't like them, but one thing I do like about them is <clears throat> if I hit a rock or a uh, yearling stump or something like that, I can change out the flywheel key in about 10 minutes and keep on mowing. Um, uh, the deck, this was pretty much the older version of this exact same engine here. 
the older version is basically the same engine with a different shroud on this, and I used it as a beater uh, until it um until it threw a rod because uh, I didn't check the oil. <laughs> that was the last time. I think that was the last time I've ever started an engine without checking the oil first. Was when uh, the old engine to this deck threw a rod because I didn't check the oil. Uh, but anyway, yeah. I'm checking the oil uh, before I use this one this morning. Anyway, yeah. It's working pretty well as a beater mower. I'm kind of tempted to just cut out the front and cut out. There's like a little circle doohickey. I'll cut that out and cut out the front. Leave this top. So, sorry about the wind. So it kind of catches the grass. It doesn't just smush it down. It's cutting pretty good right now, but it's kind of hard to push it over. And if the front was cut away, I'd probably use a grinder or a sawzall, not a torch. It would um, be a lot easier to push through the grass and it'd cut it right at the bottom instead of cutting off the top and then slowly going down. I'd cut it off right at the bottom quickly and then mulch from the bottom up, which is kind of easier on the engine than mulching from the top down. Anyway, yeah, my camera battery's toast. Thanks for watching.